Welcome to the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. As always, I love having incredibly fabulous guests on my show. And of course, I am Tanya Hoffman, by the way, <laughs> obviously. And today we have an amazing another Hoffman, Miss Debbie Hoffman. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Tanya. Great to be here. Yay. So y'all are going to get to meet my amazing friend and guest star today. She's going to blow you away and you won't want to miss what she's going to give everyone at the end. So just hold on. But before we do, I want to remind you that we would love for you to go out there and change the world from the front of the room or through video um, by becoming part of the Public Speakers Association. We are now booking for this show. We're looking for people for their story and also a whole tip series amongst other things that we do so go check us out at public speakers with an s association all spelled out dot com to find out more so debbie tell me how fabulous are you what do you've got going on nowadays <laughs> i am so fabulous well it's been really fun um as you know since you were the impetus for me starting this business several years ago i'm just helping entrepreneurs to really hold on to their dreams and never give up because in this world of entrepreneurship, people are really struggling. I'm seeing a lot of people struggling to grow their business, and it breaks my heart. And so my specialty is teaching entrepreneurs how to attract more clients and do better follow-up. So the fortune is in the follow-up, as we've all heard. And so I'm helping people to convert more of those business cards that are probably stacking up on their desks into clients and to generate more income for their business so they don't have to go back to a job. That's really my whole thing is to help people realize their dreams and help a lot of people make a huge impact in the world. So that's what I'm up to these days. Nice. I know. All right, everyone. So we just got to break it down for you. So I met Debbie at a huge conference and I walked over to her booth and I was really interested in her product, but it, the timing just wasn't right. But I was really interested this woman was so amazing. She followed up with me like over and over and over again because I was always interested. I just wasn't ready. And then boom, it was what, like a million years later and I bought a huge package from her. And I was like, you need to be teaching this. And she goes, really? <laughs> Doesn't everybody do this? <laughs> I that think that's what's brilliant about you, right? A lot of times we don't see what we're really good at. Well, first of all, I don't know if you know this, but it was 14 months that I followed <laughs> up with you, 14 months, and I think it was monthly, so 14 plus follow-up efforts, and I'm so grateful because you did point out to me that I had this gift that I just took for granted, and I had no idea that people were struggling with this, and so ever since you encouraged me to start this business, I've been helping tons and tons of people, and it's been the most rewarding, fulfilling thing I've ever done, so yeah. thanks to you, really. <laughs> Thanks to you. It was so great because, you know, it's like one of those aha moments. And I think we have to have people look at us and, and even point out, you know, things to us that we're just not even aware of, right? We all have, like all of you, all of you people listening today, you all have a gift. You have something that you just take for granted. And sometimes it takes someone like a Tanya Hoffman to point it out to you, but you all have that. And, and that's actually one of the things I now help my clients to identify what makes them unique. You know, what's their unique selling proposition? And that's the, their unique, your uniqueness is what draws people to you. So it's really important to be able to articulate clearly what that is. So thank you for being there for me because it's been such a blessing for me and for so many people. I know I've seen you grow and I've seen you become a speaker and just kind of really own who you are. So when you kind of get out there and you, I'm sure, you know, because you're having these conversations with people all the time about following up and about clients and who they are and their gifts, is there something that kind of, you know, like jumps out at you like every single time? It's like, there's always something that is missing or whatever. There are a lot of things that are missing, but one of the biggest things that I see that's missing from entrepreneurs, especially when they network, Tanya, is they go with the mindset of selling and getting clients. And it, it bombs pretty much every time. 
And of course, we all want to get more clients and we want to go to networking events and meet more people who could become clients or refer us to people. But I'm finding that folks are just like hosing people down with all this information. They're talking, talking, talking about themselves. And so it's a mindset shift that I really work with my clients on to go from a place of seeing how they can help people, like how they can serve them and make a difference and don't even talk about yourself. And eventually, because these people are going to fall in love with you because you're trying to help them when everyone else is trying to hose them down, they're going to, they won't be defensive anymore. They'll open up, their heart will open, and they're going to want to do whatever they can to help and support you because you're a breath of fresh air out there at the networking event. So I that's what's that. missing is the, is the, is coming from that place of wanting to help and make a difference. I love that you said that, you know, cause a lot of times we think of follow up or sales or something as being kind of an attack mode when really it's an attract mode, right? It's about building relationships and making, you know, and attracting people to you. So they fall in love with you and they can't help but want to know what you do and to see how they can support you or even possibly work with you. So that's a big, big mindset shift that a lot of entrepreneurs need because I see it happen all the time. People do it to me. They go on and on and on and on. They never even ask what I do. And I have to listen to this. And so now I, you know, I have ways to skillfully like exit, <laughs> exit the conversation when I have to. I know because the hardest part is looking at, the person in front of you and saying, not person may or may not be a client of mine, but they are probably a client of somebody else's or they can serve someone else. And looking at always trying to help people, then you're of service and then people are totally attracted to you. Um, Cause I've got I had a lady the other day, she goes, you just sold me on another thing. And I didn't even realize you sold me. And it's because I was just talking to her about what she was needing right? Exactly. So I think that's the big change and shift for a lot of people. It's finding out what they need and seeing if you have a solution for them. And if you don't have a solution for them, you refer them to someone who does. So we always need to be in integrity and only offer our services to someone who we really know that we can help. And that's yeah. really critical. Do I know when, you know, we're looking at following up with people and everything. One of the things that people are always like, I don't want to bother people. I don't want to be a pest. You know, how do you get people out of that mindset that they're being a pest? Well, this, this was the second biggest thing that's missing. And so I chose the other one, but I'm so glad you asked about this because this comes up over and over and over again, that people think that when they're following up, they're being pushy and salesy. So just like I shared about being in service, if you're constantly showing up in service to people when you're following up and you're providing value to them, like what I do, and this is what I did with you. I, don't, I never shared you my secret, but this is what I did. <laughs> oh, good. So, I, so I entered notes into my CRM after we met at that event. And I wrote down everything you said that you were struggling with, all the issues that you had. And every time I... I called you, I referenced back, I looked at the notes first, and each time I tried to leave a message reminding you about something that you had shared with me. So number one, it makes hopefully you and others feel like, wow, she really listened to me. Because again, no one's listening to anybody. Everyone's just talking, talking, talking. So when they know you've heard them and you remembered what they said, oh my God, they're going to think, wow, if I become a client of this person, I'm going to get this kind of service because look at how on top of things they are, right? And then I help remind you of some issues you might have forgotten that you were struggling with. And so it leads people closer to a decision. So if you're always providing value and building the relationship and see how you can serve people, and this is key, you're always asking for permission to go to the next step. You will never feel salesy or pushy again. The reason people feel salesy and pushy is because they're being salesy and pushy. But you don't have to be when you're following up. If you're always asking, like if someone's not interested in what you have to offer now, you can ask, would it be okay if I checked back in with you? And when would be a good time to check back in? Instead of telling them when you're going to call back, ask them or give them a choice. And they'll never feel like you're being salesy or pushy. So that is like the biggest secret. My clients are embracing that. And it's one of the biggest like mindset shifts they've ever had. And now follow-up is really fun for them. 
Nice. I love it. Yeah. I know when I'm with somebody and they're like, well, you know, let's get together again or call me. I'm like, okay, I get out my phone and I'm immediately right. Okay. When do you want to do it? So I'm committing them and committing myself because, you know, if we don't both commit, I have no idea when I'm going to call it's them. So happen. forget. <laughs> exactly. It won't happen. It won't happen. So it's great that you're doing it there. And that's what I coach my clients to do too. So you don't have to play that phone tag and people love it because they know it's saving them time as well. Yes, awesome. So as you've been growing yourself, because I've loved watching you kind of blossom into the Debbie Hoffman I always saw, um, and, but a lot of times we don't see ourselves in that role. Has there been kind of that moment that you're like, oh, what am I doing? You felt like it really, you know, like you're shifting so hard and so fast and so crazily far that you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is the right path because I know the answer, but go ahead and tell people. <laughs> the answer is that this is my calling. Like this is what I was supposed to be doing all along. And so that moment has never happened. There are those moments like, wow, there's so much to do and how am I going to get it all done? So I've definitely had those moments, but now I have a team. So I'm thrilled about that. But no, I've always, ever since, I mean, I kicked and screamed at the beginning with you, if you remember. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? Like, I didn't get it. I just didn't get what you were saying to me. But over the months and years, as I've been talking to hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs, you were spot on, Tanya. People are struggling with follow-up. It's the missing piece of the puzzle. And you can't build a sustainable business without a reliable follow-up system. You can't. You can't maximize your results in your business. And so once I stopped kicking and screaming and started embracing your wisdom and your, you know, how you pointed this out to me that this was a gift I had, it's just been an incredible journey. And I'm so like, I know that I know that I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, this is really my calling and I'm having such a blast helping so many people and seeing results in their business and in their confidence and their self-esteem that to me it's just so heartwarming to see that because people are really shifting big time i, know, and it's, I love it's the moment because we roomed and and we were talking you know and i love rooming with people because you kind of get into because a lot of times people have this facade of everything is okay and then when you room with them you're like oh wow they you know they need they have these issues and they don't know and, you know you get to talk to people and then you walked into that little conference that we were at to um that we were sharing the room at and i said just ask the people about it and, and throw out a price and you and you i think you got a, a customer like right then or you got a lot of interest two two, two. two you credit go. cards without even having a program i'll never forget that moment I loved it. I was like, see? <laughs> so for you people out there that don't have a program yet, just offer it out and then create it. Because I sent her, what should I offer? And she says, just offer a five-week teleseminar program. I said, I don't have a five-week teleseminar program. She says, just offer it. Just a follow-up program. Put a name on it. So I stood up, made this offer, and two people gave me their credit cards. And that's how my business started. So I would never, ever have created that program if I hadn't had two people who had signed up. And then I started sharing with everybody else and had 22 people in my first program. Yay. Go figure, go figure. I know people so, want everything to be perfect before they do something, before they yeah. tell anybody. And I've always done it opposite. I always tell people because then if I don't get any interest, then I know not to make it and spend all that time creating it and, you know, and all that effort. That's what I did with the Public Speaker Association. I was like, huh, let me see if people would be interested, posted something on Facebook, got this huge response back and people are like, yeah, I want to join. How do I join? I'm like, um, here, here's a credit card form. <laughs> so you got to, you figure it out as you go. Exactly. And for me, because these people said yes and they gave me their credit card, I had to create this thing. <laughs> I had to create it. And now years later, it's a webinar and it's, I mean, oh my gosh, all the transformations it's gone through, it keeps getting better each time I do it. I keep adding more. So it's just developed. So I love it. You know, take action. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just take imperfect action and create something that you're an expert in. Love it. So do you have something to share or gift to our listeners today? I do. I actually have two gifts. One is a free guide that I have, which is 
four secrets to power up your sales without being salesy, which is my whole underlying philosophy. So in this guide, you'll have free, you know, there's four steps that you can take right away. You can implement immediately into your business to get more clients and grow your business. And you'll also receive a weekly follow-up video tip from me on follow-up Friday. So the easiest way to, should I share how they can receive this gift? Are great. So you can take out your cell phones and go to where you would text and put in 925-204-2434. 925-204-2434. And put in free guide. Free guide. And you'll end up getting this in your inbox. Awesome. And then for those of you out there who are really not getting the results that you want in your business, you're not signing up the number of clients that you really want to, and you know follow-up is an issue for you, I'd love to invite you to sign up for a complimentary 60-minute Convert More Prospects into Clients Breakthrough Session. And during this time, we'll explore where you want your business to be ideally and where it is now and what's getting in the way of you creating your ideal business. And then if it's, you know, if it's, if it's a good fit for us, we'll discuss next steps and how I can support you. So you would go to that same text number, you'd say, text that same number, 925-204-2434, and put in session. And then my calendar will come up and you can choose a time that's convenient for you. So those are my two gifts for your audience today. Perfect. All right, everybody. So just take advantage of that right now. So you don't forget and you don't have to follow up with it <laughs> and get connected with Debbie because obviously she's amazing. And remember that her Hoffman is two F's and one N and mine is one F, two N. So we're kind of opposites. <laughs> opposites attract. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. All righty, everybody. So please go get connected with Debbie. And Debbie, thank you so much. I can't wait for you to be on my show again. Thank you so much for having me. It's been so much fun. Yay. All right, everybody. We will see you next time on the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. <laughs> Bye.